Dr. Sovereigns, and I'm here today to um, answer some questions you may have about microchipping. I've got two helpers with me today. I have Penny, she's a Chihuahua mix, and I have Mackenzie, uh, one of our assistants, who's going to ask us questions that we routinely get asked here at Countryside. Dr. Sovereigns, how is the microchip implanted in the dog? Good question. We are uh, having to use a home again microchips. It comes in a kit, comes in a box. Then we have a kit that has the microchip, which is inside a syringe. And what we'll do is we will direct our dog um, a little bit away from us. We always use the same area so everyone knows where to scan, everyone knows where to find it, between the shoulder blades at the back of the neck. And we actually take the microchip and we just put it right under the skin, just like an injection, just as though we were going to vaccinate your dog. I didn't give uh, Penny a microchip because she's been microchipped since she was a little puppy. The other things in her uh, kit is a little, almost like a social security card. It has her unique number written on here for the owners to have. She also can wear a tag with that same number. And the microchip is really tiny, so it can fit inside the syringe. It's actually just uh, about the size of a grain of rice. It's skinny and long, so it fits inside there. So that's how we do it. And uh, how do I get my dog microchipped? So um, veterinarians can definitely microchip your dog. I think some breeders might do it. Sometimes uh, a dog club might have a microchip clinic where they have uh, the microchips that they purchased and they then can register them and help you get them registered. And where in the body is the dog microchipped? Always, always, always between the shoulder blades at the back of the neck. If it was a dog or a cat, that's where we put it. Kind of like where the little mom might carry a little puppy. It's an area that's not very sensitive. And is microchipping painful? You would think it would be the needle um, is a little larger than our vaccine needle, but the dogs just don't um, complain much at all. They, some of them feel it and look around a little bit, other ones don't say anything, and it's over very briefly, just like a vaccine. And are there any risks or side effects associated with the dog microchipping process? I haven't seen um, anything of it. It's certainly, I've never seen where it developed tumors or where it migrated. These guys, um, are designed so that they don't migrate through the dog. They stay pretty close to exactly where we put it. Um, the dogs don't vomit or throw off or anything like that when they uh, have had the vaccine. I haven't seen any side effects from it. And is a recovery period needed after dog microchipping? Nope, we just do it on a regular appointment. Sometimes they're here for vaccines, sometimes they're little puppies, um, and it's one of their first few visits. Uh, and we just give the microchip and away they go home and, and, and uh, they just have a normal happy day. And will my dog's microchip ever stop working? It's, it's unusual, but I have seen that happen. Um, so here at Countryside, every time a dog comes in for a well visit, we take our scanner and we scan them. And um, that, just to make sure that it's always working so you can count on it if you ever need it. The last thing I want to say, the new microchips actually have, uh, can read their body temperature. So it's also a bonus that once the little puppies are microchipped, that we can always, when they come in for a checkup, just scan them and get their special number as well as their temperature. So I hope we've answered all the questions that you might have about microchipping. If you have any more, you can call Countryside Veterinary Clinic at 410-461-2400. Thank you.